Well, hello there. Happy Friday. <sighs> the last day of July and Harry Potter's birthday. <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. There's plenty of room. This is uh, Take a Break with Brita. I'm Brita Miller, and I'm just so delighted that you're here with me this morning. <sighs> what a week, huh? <laughs> I think I say that every week. Sorry. But it really has been um, an exciting week for me. Um, last night was the big show, the, the Big Hearts for Seniors, the storytelling event that I've been working on forever. <laughs> and, um, you know, I don't know if you've ever worked on a big project and, and you just get wound up like, oh, you know, it's, it's going to happen, whether it's a wedding or planning a, a big party or producing an event, whatever, whatever it is, that it's the buildup, the anxiety, the stress, the imagination of all the things that might go wrong or that could happen, or what if no one comes? Always the worst. Um, and you know what? It was wonderful. It was terrific. The storytellers were so good. Um, our host, Vic Strecker, was amazing. Um, so smooth. He wore a tuxedo jacket. He was broadcasting, hosting from his home office and he admitted that he was wearing bunny slippers, you know, kind of like the, um, the mullet form of dressing, you know, business on top, party on the bottom. <laughs> so whatever it takes, you just have to be careful if you have to get up, you know, to get a document or something. And um, if your bottoms don't really match the top situation, that, that can be a problem. Anyway, um, so... I just want to tell you a little bit of um, behind the scenes kind of stuff. Uh, we had six stories. I was the, the last story. And, um, you know, I, I worked on creating a brand new story for this event, one that I had never told before, which, you know, it's kind of kind of risky because I, I didn't know how it was going to go over. And honestly, um, I, I'm still not sure because there was no audience and there was no, <laughs> there was no, no audience reaction really. We, we recorded it in a, in an empty auditorium with just three or four people. Um, but anyway, I, I've gotten some wonderful comments and, um, I think it's my best. I do. I, I'm proud of it. And I know, you know, my mom as always was the star and it's, it's an interesting story because it, I believe that stories for me anyway, there's two kinds when you tell personal stories. And this is for you if you think, I don't have a story, Brita. Nothing's ever happened to me. You know, I'm just a normal person just doing regular stuff. Well, well, here's what I think. I think there are two kinds of personal stories. One, where you have an extraordinary experience. You um, witness something, you do something, you have an adventure, you survive something traumatic. Um, you have a singular event that is absolutely amazing. That's a great story. But you know the other kind of story that I think can even be more powerful sometimes? Are stories about ordinary things told from an extraordinary point of view. When you get that laser focus and you can talk about something that everybody has experienced or seen or witnessed, but never really thought about it or didn't think about it in a specific way. And um, that's what my story, I think, um, was last night. It was, it's called Apple Pie. And I think a better name might be, you know, you've, you've, you remember the movie, The Spy Who Loved Me? Well, this is the pie who nearly killed me, right? Um, and it was about a, a time when I was a caregiver that I was the poster child for a stressed out, burned out, exhausted caregiver. And I was not my best self. And it was one of those times that I learned the lessons that if you want to be your best self when you're caring for others, when you're living with other people, when you're working with other people, you have to take care of yourself. Because if you're a wreck, <laughs> you're not going to be in good form. You're not going to be resourceful. You're not going to be able to do things that you think are hard. And spoiler alert, for me, pie is hard. Just saying. Um, but it, anyway, it, um, it's, it's a story that just took me right back to that moment when I was with my mom and it was all about the apple pie. But 
you, there's a twist. Maybe it wasn't really about the apple pie. So if you um, if you missed it, you know, not to worry. You can still see it because it was recorded. Um, you just have to go to YouTube, look up the University of Michigan channel, and there's a, a bunch of different events there. And Big Hearted Stories is right there. Don't be scared when you see that it's two hours long because the first 30 minutes was our virtual lobby where people who were early birds to the event could hang out um, before we started the show. So at the 30 minute mark is where the program begins and it's free and there are six storytellers and um, I, think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. It's, the theme is experiences of aging and it's interesting how six different people take a topic and just come at it from different perspectives, experiences, points of view, and um, I think you'll find it as an uplifting um, and and good thing good thing to enjoy. My story is the last one, so I hope you make it through, you know, till the end. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's the story there. Um, but it was big fun, and and you know, I, I posted a meme this morning. It was like, whew, you know, <laughs> so glad it's over. I'm not glad it's over. I'm glad it was a success. I'm glad that it was done and it, it, that, it, that it was such a great team effort. So many people were involved, lots of hands, lots of hands, lots of people involved in making this a successful event because we built it. We built it from the ground up. There was nothing. Um, there was no program. We hadn't done it before. And it was really a new model, I think, for fundraising because it, it goes to support five agencies, um, organizations that um, help aging adults, older adults in Washtenaw County. So um, yes, it was good. So today is Friday and I'm looking forward to the weekend. Um, oh, I have to tell you the other little tidbit about this. You might, especially after you watch this story. Yesterday was our daughter's birthday and um, she was working, so we're gonna celebrate this weekend. And I said to her, you know, so what kind of cake would you like? I'm good at cake, I like cake. I love cake. And she said, you know, mom, I really like pie. She had not heard the story about, you know, she knew of this, you know, my issues with pie, but she didn't know the extent, I think. And she hadn't seen the actual story or I hadn't practiced it in front of her or anything. And I'm dying. I said, are you teasing? I, you're just kidding me, right? She says, no, really. That's, that's what I'd really like. And then she said, but you know, I, I'm fine with a store-bought pie. And I went, oh, thank you, Jesus. So <laughs> um, if you see me in the, in the grocery store um, or the bakery coming out with a pie, you'll know why. And if you watch my story, you'll really know why. <laughs> anyway, um, so I hope that you have a, a wonderful weekend. And you know the whole thing about the pie story? It's about not having any regrets. And if there's one thing I think that we've learned during COVID-19 is um, there are no guarantees and you can plan your life. You can plan activities and travel and adventures and say, okay, here's my planner and I'm gonna do this, this, and this on each day or each week. And those are good things to do and, and I, I do it still, but know that Things can change in a moment and you have to be able to be flexible and to adapt and find new ways to do things. So we ended up doing this event as a virtual event. Um, I loved every moment of it, but it wasn't what we originally planned. And if we had stuck to that model and said, no, we have to do it this way. It has to be a live event in a big theater. And if we can't get people in the building, then we can't do it. And we found a way to do it to do it differently, and I think to do it pretty well. So um, keep that in mind as you move forward and you find ways. But to, when you have an opportunity to call someone, to do something with someone that you know would be really meaningful to them, just go ahead and do it. You won't regret it. Think, think about the apple pie and that might help you as well. So this is Brita Miller. This has been Take a Break with Brita, Friday edition. I hope that you have, uh, have good things that you can do and things that you're gonna do that are so good, you're gonna say, you know what? I'm glad I did it and I'm not gonna have any regrets. That's the way to move forward 
that's the way to really, I think, enjoy this precious gift of life that we all have. So take care of yourself, take a break before you break, and I will see you soon. This is Brita Miller.